The following paid content is sponsored by True North Advisors. Do you think you'll automatically be paying fewer taxes when you retire? Unfortunately, that won't be the case for many hardworking Americans. In fact, you could actually pay even more in taxes in your retirement than you did when you were working. And it's all because you could owe taxes when you pull money out of your IRA and 401k, taxes on your Social Security benefits, taxes on your investment income, and more. Before you know it, the money you were counting on to help pay for retirement, well, it could be a lot less money than you thought it was going to be. Hi, everybody. I'm Michael Cogdill, and welcome to Retire Ready Today with True North Advisors. Coming up on today's show, we're going to talk about three retirement tax traps. These could needlessly wipe out your hard-earned savings. Plus, we have a handful of some simple tax planning strategies. These could easily save you tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars in your retirement. Saving for retirement is a great start, but it's what you do with this money that really matters. What's your plan to reduce your taxes, generate income, withdraw money from your IRA or 401k, or pay for the skyrocketing cost of health care? Welcome to Retire Ready Today with Matt Dixon of True North Advisors. Matt is a fiduciary retirement advisor and is a member of the Forbes Finance Council. This is where you can count on straightforward and objective advice about how you can make the most out of every dollar you've saved for retirement. Hi, everybody. I'm Michael Cogdill, and welcome to Retire Ready Today with True North Advisors. Today, we're talking about three retirement tax traps that could wipe out your hard-earned savings. Joining us today, Matt Dixon, founder of True North Advisors, uh, with locations right here in the Carolinas. Matt is a fiduciary retirement advisor, a registered financial consultant. He's also a member of the Forbes Finance Council. Matt, so great to see you. Great to always see you, Michael. Let's dive right in, first of all, to that uh, terrible tax surprise, these three terrible tax surprises that could needlessly rob you of your hard-earned savings. What is that first tax trap we need to talk about and be concerned about, Matt? Really, so Michael, the first tax trap is not having a plan or strategy in place for pulling money out of your IRA or 401k in retirement. And this can be a big problem, not because there's anything wrong with taking your money out. The problem is that if you don't do it right, if it's not a well-coordinated situation where you're when you're pulling this money out it's timed properly you could needlessly trigger a much bigger tax bill and a number of other problems can follow see here's the thing the government makes it really easy for you to contribute money to your ira or 401k your contributions are tax-free and they can be made automatically and you can even invest this money and grow it without paying any taxes at all that all sounds great but when you start withdrawing money from these accounts in retirement, that's when things get complicated. In fact, it's so complicated, it's almost as if the system is designed to trip you up. So even in sophisticated investors needlessly trigger massive tax bills that could cost them a small fortune in retirement. And that doesn't sound good, and that's not good either, man. And it isn't, Michael. And in reality, I'm not the only one that's saying this. The Motley Fool said... If you're not careful, you can ruin a lifetime of successful saving when it comes time to withdraw money from your nest egg. Most people don't realize this, but how and when you withdraw this money from your IRA and 401k makes all the difference because the timing of your withdrawals could have a huge impact on how much you end up paying in taxes versus how much you keep in your pocket. Now, why is that? Well, Michael, really, the withdrawals from your IRA and 401ks are taxed as ordinary income. And guess what? Your Social Security benefits and other investment income, including dividends, real estate, are also taxed as ordinary income. And all of these income sources, when it's all added up together, you end up paying a lot of income taxes on all of this money, even if you didn't work one single hour all year long. So the timing of when you make withdrawals from your IRA and 401k and when you even file for Social Security is, is pretty critical. Timing the essence of everything right here makes so much sense, Matt. Well, Michael, we want to help clients plan for this because one decision has a domino effect. And if you're not being very careful about it, one wrong move could force you into a higher tax bracket. 
and it could even, in a worst case scenario, double your Medicare premiums. So the money that you were counting on to help for your retirement could end up being a lot less than you thought it was going to be. Unless you make a plan now to keep the cash for yourself. And Matt, a lot of people are under the uh, delusion, if you will, that their taxes are going to go down in retirement, but that's not necessarily true, right? Definitely not necessarily true. A lot of people make this mistake, though. They assume they'll be paying fewer taxes in retirement because they're no longer working for a paycheck. I get that. But unfortunately, that won't be the case for many retired Americans. A lot of people don't consider how taxes change as they age. Deductions like mortgage interest, and claiming children as dependents, those things disappear. You also have to account for RMDs, required minimum distributions, which none of us had to deal with before. But when you, when you turn 73, the government forces you to withdraw a certain percentage of money from your IRA and 401k. And you have to withdraw money every single year until you pass away or until the account is 100% depleted. And you have to make these withdrawals, regardless if you need the money or not, or whether the stock market is up or is down. Now, RMDs may not sound like a big deal on the surface, but they can be really bad to force your hand in the wrong way. How so, Matt? Well, imagine this scenario, Michael, where you're 75 years old, you started taking RMDs, but then there's trouble in the stock market and your portfolio is down. RMDs could force you to break the cardinal sin of investing, which is to sell your investments at a loss. And there's no way to get that money back again. To make matters worse, when you sell these investments, that income could push you into a higher tax bracket. So you wind up with a higher tax bill and even less money in your pocket. It's like a snowball effect, so you Hmm. really have to be careful here. Yeah, it makes sense. So, Matt, how can someone uh, navigate uh, RMDs and avoid overpaying taxes on a 401k or an IRA? Well, Michael, it it really comes down to the difference between tax preparation versus tax planning. Most people are familiar with tax preparation. This is when you prepare and file your taxes every year with the help of an accountant or CPA. But aside from some obvious deductions that you know, you might save a few dollars. At this point, what's done is done. You're just looking and reporting history. So tax planning is a totally different situation here. Here, you're looking forward, not backward. And you're using the tax code to identify strategies that could help you potentially save a lot of money on your taxes for the rest of your life. And if you take advantage of some simple tax planning strategies, the savings could be significant. Even in some cases, it's not uncommon for us to uncover tens of thousands of dollars or in some cases, hundreds of thousands of dollars in tax savings for our clients. So, Matt, it sounds like smart tax planning can help us, uh, you know, avoid a big tax hit in our retirement savings. So what can viewers do to get a jump on this tax planning? That's a very awesome question, Michael. One of the most important things to nail down is what's going to happen with the money in your IRA or 401k. Most people think of this money as being 100% theirs, but they forget that the IRS could take a big chunk of this every time they make a withdrawal in retirement. And with RMDs, they will force you to take this money out anyways. So your tax bills could end up being a lot bigger than you thought. So here's the good news, though. If you take advantage of some simple tax planning strategies now, you could save a small fortune in retirement. And that's why we'd like to offer a free customized retirement tax savings analysis just for the viewers of the show today. This is a proven process that shows you how much money you could end up saving in taxes when you retire. Well, that's fascinating, Matt. Uh, exactly how does that work? Let me explain it real quick then. Michael, we make it really simple. First, we get some basic information from you. And then we find the tax saving strategies that are best suited for your specific situation. And finally, we show you exactly how much money these strategies could save you. Now, most advisors charge thousands of dollars for customized tax analysis like this, but we'll walk you through this proven process and we won't charge you a dime for it. Matt, so much great information here. Thank you so much for that.
So want to find out how much you could save in taxes when you retire? Just request your free customized retirement tax saving analysis from True North Advisors with locations right here in the Carolinas. If you have saved at least $200,000 for retirement, schedule your free analysis by calling now 864-528-3110. There's no cost, no obligation, but this offer is available only during today's show. So call right now, 864-528-3110. The number again, 864-528-3110. So how much of your Social Security benefits get taxed every year? You might be surprised by that answer. We're going to tell you all about it when we come back. You're watching Retire Ready Today with Matt Dixon of True North Advisors. This is where you can count on straightforward and objective advice about how you could make the most out of every dollar you've saved for retirement. And now back to Retire Ready Today with True North Advisors. Hi, I'm Michael Cogdill, and you're watching Retire Ready Today with True North Advisors. And today we're talking about the three retirement tax traps that could needlessly wipe out your hard-earned savings. With us is Matt Dixon. He is the founder of True North Advisors with locations right here in the Carolinas. Matt is a fiduciary, retirement advisor, a retire register of financial consultant, and he is a member of the Forbes Finance Council. Matt, thank you again for being with us today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me again here, Michael. Let's talk to our viewers about that second retirement trap. Yeah, absolutely, Michael. Real important part of getting a good plan put together is making sure we understand the second tax trap is something most people aren't even aware of to begin with. And that's the reality of having to pay taxes on your social security income. Because the truth of the matter is many retirees end up paying taxes on as much as 85% of their benefits. If you're expecting a check that's one size and what you actually get is something much smaller, well, your retirement could look a lot different than you might be imagining. And here's the thing, you've been paying into the social security trust fund ever since your first paycheck as a kid. Between you and your employer, you've contributed as much as 12.4% of your earnings for decades. So you've essentially given an interest-free loan to the government. But when it comes to finally getting your money back, Uncle Sam wants to take a big chunk of it in the form of taxes. Matt, I'm sure most people don't even realize this. Uh, are all Social Security benefits taxed the same? So unfortunately, a lot of people aren't realizing that it's really truly based entirely on your annual taxable income. So you could end up paying taxes on as much as 50% to 85% of your social security benefits. But if you're like most retirees, these benefits are the foundation of your retirement income. So Michael, most people don't realize this. But if you've made an average income throughout your career, your Social Security benefits could add up to hundreds of thousands of dollars. And if you've made an above average income, your Social Security benefits could be worth as much as a million dollars or more over your lifetime. But if you have to pay taxes on 85% of your benefits check, that income could be a fraction of what you were counting on. And let's talk about the timing, Matt. Does when you claim the benefits affect how much tax you might owe? In some cases, Michael, it has a lot to do with it. So timing is important. And if you're not careful with how and when you claim your benefits, you could trigger something known as the tax torpedo. Let me explain. The tax torpedo happens when all of the income from your IRA, 401k, Social Security benefits, and other investments are all added up. And if you're pushed into a higher tax bracket, forcing you to pay higher marginal and even capital gain taxes, worst case even, paying a higher Medicare premium, possibly. Let's talk about the COLA, the good old cost of living adjustment. Matt, does that have any impact on any of this? Especially in the recent years here, Michael, it's definitely gonna have something to do with paying additional taxes because the cost of living increases are important because they help benefits keep pace with inflation. For the past couple of years, inflation has done nothing but go up and everyday expenses have obviously been following. I'm sure you felt it. That big 8.7% cost of living increase that went through during the height of inflation recently helped a lot of retirees feel a sense of relief 
because now they have more Social Security income coming in. But it's not all good news. This cost of living adjustment was the largest in decades. And what did that do? We saw it push many fixed income retirees into a much higher tax bracket. And many retirees found themselves having to pay taxes on their benefits for the first time ever. That was not good news. When something like this happens, the final amount you get to keep and spend on your actual cost of living is suddenly a lot smaller than it was before. Well, Matt, let's talk about the actual paying of these taxes. Does the IRS take the tax out for you? Oh, absolutely not. That would be too simple for the everyday <laughs> retiree, yeah. wouldn't it? So that's another gotcha, you could say. Don't assume your taxes will automatically be deducted from your benefits just because you owe them. You'll have to file quarterly estimated taxes or ask Social Security Administration to withhold the taxes from your checks. And you definitely don't want to miss your payments. And here's something else you should know about this. A lot of people think that they can just turn to the Social Security Administration to get some personalized help for getting the most out of their benefits. But that won't be the case. The staff at the Social Security Administration is not trained to give you financial advice, especially when it comes to taxes on your benefits. Forbes featured an article that said the agency has some 40,000 undertrained, overwhelmed, and sometimes arrogant staffers who routinely tell people things that are dead wrong, half wrong, misleading, or even incomplete. As a result, thousands of people are making terrible wrong decisions daily when they're claiming their Social Security retirement benefits. And these decisions that are costing them huge sums of money. So this responsibility is really 100% on your shoulders. That's why we're glad you're here. And many of you may be wondering about these. Are these taxes on Social Security benefits avoidable at all? Well, in some cases, Michael, what we usually like to show a lot of people is how we can potentially eliminate taxes on your benefits altogether. But you have to get in front of it and create your strategy before you file for Social Security. So Matt, how could our viewers out there uh, reduce or eliminate these taxes on their benefits? Is there a way? There's definitely a way. And really, there are some simple strategies here, Michael, that we could use uh, that could help reduce or eliminate these taxes altogether. So you get to keep more of your Social Security income in your pocket. But you can only take advantage of these strategies if you have not filed for Social Security yet. We can show you how you could reduce or eliminate paying taxes on your benefits with a free customized Social Security analysis. Matt, how's it work? Well, it's a real great question because it's pretty simple to, to actually use there, Michael. This analysis shows you the strategies that could help you save a fortune in taxes on your benefits, exactly when to file for Social Security to optimize your income, plus if you're eligible for other benefits that could add up to thousands of dollars every year. You get a complete and personalized plan that could help you maximize every dollar of benefits you're eligible for. This is not a one-size-fits-all strategy, though. This analysis is a customized plan for your specific situation. We typically reserve this for paying clients, but you can schedule your free customized analysis with us today, even if you're not a client yet. Matt, so much great information. So very helpful there. So... Do you want to get the most out of your Social Security benefits? Then schedule your free Social Security analysis from True North Advisors right here in the Carolinas. If you have saved at least $200,000 for retirement and have not filed for Social Security, schedule your free analysis right now by calling 864-528-3110. There's no cost, no obligation, but this offer is only available if you call during today's show. So call now, 864-528-3110. That number again, 864-528-3110. So, do you know the third and maybe the biggest tax trap of all? We'll have that answer when we come back. You're watching Retire Ready Today with Matt Dixon of True North Advisors. This is where you can count on straightforward and objective advice about the toughest challenges with retiring today, like reducing your taxes, generating income, optimizing your Social Security benefits, and paying for the skyrocketing cost of health care. Now, back to Retire Ready Today with True North Advisors.
Hi, I'm Michael Cogdill, and you're watching Retire Ready Today with True North Advisors. And today we're talking about three retirement tax traps that could wipe out your hard-earned savings. Joining us is Matt Dixon. He is the founder of True North Advisors. Matt's a fiduciary retirement advisor, a registered financial consultant, and a member of the Forbes Finance Council. Matt, welcome. Thank you again for being here today. Thank you, Michael. Tell us about that third retirement tax trap. And Michael, the third tax trap, what that is, is not protecting yourself now against higher taxes in the future. Because if you're in or nearing retirement, it's not a matter of if taxes will go up, it's only really a matter of when. And this could be a devastating blow for your IRA, 401k, and other retirement savings. Most people believe they'll be paying fewer taxes in retirement. And I get that because you're no longer earning a paycheck. But unfortunately, that won't be the case for many hardworking Americans. By the time you add up the taxes on your IRAs, 401k withdrawals, taxes on your Social Security benefits, and taxes like other investment income that could be dividends or even real estate, you could find yourself in a higher tax bracket after you retire than when you were working. But it actually could get worse. For the last few years, the government has gone on an unprecedented spending spree between economic stimulus new infrastructure and social policy bills. Our national debt has reached a record high and they're still spending trillions of dollars every year. But it's important to understand the government doesn't have money of its own. So the only way to repay this money is by raising taxes. And Matt, it's a daunting question. How high could those tax, uh, tax rates climb? Michael, it could be an extreme if it was possible, it may go there because the highest federal income tax rate right now is only 37%. But do you know what it was back in the, in the 1980s? The highest federal income tax rate was 70%. Now I'm not saying that taxes will go back to 70, but I am saying there's a lot of room between 37% and 70% for the government to be able to raise our taxes. It really comes down to simple math. We have the highest national debt in our country's history, and we have the lowest federal income tax rates in over 40 years. So what do you think is going to happen? The answer is obvious, taxes must go up. Quite the inevitability, Matt. So how could this uh, affect retirees? Well, Michael, it could be huge, right? If you've recently retired or you're even nearing retirement, it's not good at all. Each time you have to take a withdrawal from your IRA or 401k, a larger chunk of your savings would go to Uncle Sam. And you'll ultimately be left with a lot less money to spend in retirement. The same will be true with income from your Social Security benefits and any other investment income from dividends, real estate, and more. Matt, is there anything else uh, retirees need to be wary of here? Absolutely, and I'm really glad that you asked that because there's one more thing I do want to mention here that nobody's talking about. And right now it's important to understand. It's something called legislative risk. Legislative risk is basically admitting that the government can change the rules of the game whenever they want. And as individuals, we're largely powerless to stop them. The government can raise your taxes they can change rules on your IRA or 401k accounts like they've done here in recent years. They can cut your Social Security benefits as they've already told us that they're going to do by 2034. They can do whatever they want, whenever they want, and they don't have to ask for your permission. And that's why more and more people are taking proactive steps right now to Washington proof their retirement savings. And when the government does change the rules, you're protected. So this begs the big question, how can our viewers out there Washington proof their retirement savings? It's a very, very good question because Washington proofing their retirement savings, this is a big one, especially if you're concerned about the very real risk of higher taxes here in the near future. Your traditional IRAs and 401ks are what's called a pre-taxed count. You haven't paid taxes on that money not when you put it in and not why your investments have grown. But when you take this money out, the tax man will want his cut. And with the required minimum distribution, RMDs, you can't leave the money in there, you have to take the money out. 
With a Roth, though, you do have to pay taxes up front, even if you're converting from an IRA or 401k. But once the money is inside the Roth, every dollar of your growth is tax-free. Any dollar that you take out is tax-free. Once the money is in there, you pay zero taxes, no matter how much the money grows. And there are no required minimum distributions either, which is a huge benefit because you're in a total amount of control of when you get to take the money out now. The more money you have in the traditional IRA and 401ks, the bigger the tax bills you can have to expect to end up paying in retirement. You haven't paid a dime in taxes yet, and Uncle Sam can't wait to take his share of those types of accounts. But if you can convert to a Roth today at today's historically low tax rates, all future withdrawals would be completely tax-free. No more taxes on that money for the rest of your life. If you haven't considered converting your traditional IRA or 401k into a Roth, now might be the perfect time to be able to do that. I'm sure a lot of our viewers out there could benefit right now from a Roth conversion. How can, uh, how can they find out more, Matt? So it's a really simple process, but a Roth conversion could be very important. And at, at this point, you might be asking yourself some important questions like, how much could you save in taxes by converting even from an IRA to a, or a 401k into a Roth? If it makes sense, should you convert all of your pre-tax accounts this year into a, to a Roth account? Or should you do it over a few years? This can be a powerful tax saving strategy if you do it right. And we can help you do that with a free customized Roth conversion analysis. That sounds great. How's it work? Really simple. And in fact, we make it about as simple as you can get because we get some basic information from you first about your accounts and we do all the math for you to show you the difference between sticking with your traditional IRA or 401k versus if you did this conversion to a Roth. And then you get all the facts and the numbers you need to help you make the right decision. Many advisors only do this for their existing clients or they charge thousands of dollars for this type of customized analysis. But we offer this at zero cost, even if you're not a client yet, we're here to help. For many people, today's historically low tax rates mark your best opportunity ever to convert to a Roth. So let's find out how much you could save with a Roth conversion. Matt, this is so helpful, so informational, so generous of you. It's easy to schedule a Roth conversion analysis with True North Advisors with those locations right here in the Carolinas. Again, if you have saved at least $200,000 for retirement, schedule your free analysis right now by calling 864-528-3110. This offer, though, is available only if you call today. So call right now, 864-528-3110. That's all the time we have for today. We thank you for watching Retire Ready Today with Matt Dixon of True North Advisors. We look forward to seeing you next time. And remember, it's not what you make, it's what you keep. The previous paid content was sponsored by True North Advisors.